Thing. Order! Order! You are an incorrigible delinquent at times. <laughs> Behave yourself, man! International shipping generates more than 2% of global carbon emissions. That's higher than Germany. And it's a figure that's projected to increase rapidly. Talks are now being held in London to try to clean up the industry. But there's a deep division between countries that want to see urgent action and those that fear limits could damage their economies. Our science editor, David Shookman, reports. At Felixstowe Docks, Britain's largest container port, the staggering sight of a ship that stretches for roughly the length of four football pitches. The vessels that handle global trade have grown massively. Look at the tiny figures on the quayside. But as the industry has expanded, so has the pollution it causes. So far, shipping has been exempted from international climate agreements, but that's now changing. Many of the most modern vessels like these are far more efficient than older generations. But if you add up all the greenhouse gas emissions produced by ships around the world, you get a bigger total than the emissions produced by Germany. No wonder there's massive pressure now on the shipping industry to clear up. <coughs> In London today, more than 100 countries started to talk about cutting emissions from shipping. For some, like the small island states, vulnerable to climate change, this is a vital chance to head off the most damaging effects of global warming. We can talk about, you know, the bottom line, we can talk about profit. Uh, corporate profit, we can talk about you know, economic development and economic uh, prosperity, but if your very survival is really at stake, nothing else matters, right? A blast of fumes at Dover. The shipping industry does accept it causes pollution, but also says trade is essential. And countries like Brazil say they can't afford to lose out. Brazil uh, sits in, in a faraway um, location in terms of its destination export markets. And uh, so we have to really um, look with care any measure that would eventually be adopted that could discriminate against Brazil. There are plans to make shipping cleaner. This ferry in Norway is battery powered. And Japanese researchers want to go back to sails using wind power in order to burn less fuel. Back at Felixstowe, we watch one of the massive vessels setting off for Asia. It's due at the Suez Canal by Friday. That's when negotiations are due to finish on what to do about the industry's greenhouse gases. And no one is certain of reaching agreement. David Shookman, BBC News, in Felixstowe. <laughs>